Number 1 Medina The maze-like Medina of the White City spills down the slope from the Kasbah in the north, granting brief glimpses of the Bay of Tangier through its gorge-like alleys. Market stalls in the Medina laden with leather goods, carpets, spices, fruit, vegetables, fish and handmade copper and brass jewelry. Number 2 Dar el Moksin Presiding over the northern alleys of the Medina is the palace ordered by Ismail ibn Sharif, 1672-1727, after he reconquered Tangier following two centuries of English occupation. Dar el Moksin, put up on the ruins of the English upper castle, was the seat of the Sultans of Morocco. Number 3 Kasbah Museum The palace is an apt place to browse hundreds of years of workmanship in Morocco up to the end of Tangier's English period in 1684. You'll discover bronzes and mosaics from the Roman cities of Volubilis, Cotta, and Lixis. Number 4 Caves of Hercules This cave, part natural and part man-made, is steeped in legend and set on a headland between two epic Atlantic beaches. The story goes that Hercules stayed here while preparing for his eleventh labor. This was to steal the golden apples from the Garden of the Hesperides. Number 5 American Legation in the very south of the Medina is the first property acquired abroad by the United States. The American legation was established in this Moorish-style stucco building in 1821 and is on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. Number 6 Cap Spartel Up the coast from the Caves of Hercules is the scrub-topped promontory that marks the entrance to the Strait of Gibraltar. Protected by reserve, Cap Spartel rises to more than 300 meters above the ocean. Number 7 Achikar Beach Between the caves of Hercules and Cap Spartel is a glorious public beach awarded consecutive blue flags in recent years for hygiene, water quality, facilities, and lifeguard provision. But the headliner is the sheer natural wonder of this long and wide beach. Number 8 Corniche de Tanger Another place where the investment of the last decade is unmistakable is on the Bayfront Promenade. This bends around the entire Bay of Tangier, from Mercala Beach in the west to Cap Malabeda in the east. The section that most people associate with the Corniche is between the new tourist port and Villa Harris. Number 9 Park Perdicaris On the road to Cap Spartel you'll pass along the southern edge of this blissful coastal forest, on the western edge of the city. Park Perdicaris adds up to almost 70 hectares and is named after the Greek-American consul and playboy Ion Perdicaris, 1840-1925, whose estate was on this land. Number 10 Grand Saco Straddling the Medina and the Ville Nouvelle is Tangier's former central marketplace, which has since been given a facelift and become a transport hub. So where there were once storytellers, musicians and snake charmers there's a landscaped space with palms and little lawns. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.